We're following breaking news right now. A chase happening right now near Britain and Broadway. Let's go to John Welsh and Bob Moore, Chopper 4. John? Yeah, Jolene, right now we are uh, just on Britain. We're just west of Broadway Extension, still westbound. As you can see this, uh, these, this car has been pursued by uh, Oklahoma City. There's about four police cars behind them. Uh, we just picked them up at Eastern and uh, Bryant here. The chase started a little bit farther uh, southwest of our location here. The guy is uh, pretty much going through stop signs. Uh, in and out of traffic here. At times he's uh, been doing 40 miles an hour and then he's, he's uh, the fastest speed that we've seen so far uh, is about 80 here. So we're getting into a little bit of a congested area coming up on Western here off of Britain. So, uh, you know, it kind of bottlenecks down here to one lane as he crosses the railroad tracks. There's still some parking on the right side. Um, so we'll just step here and see exactly what happens. Now he's north on Western here. Uh, so. We're, we're not exactly sure what started this chase or, uh, you know, anything other than that. But, uh, you know, you can still see we're north on Western here uh, from Britain being put, chased by uh, four patrol cars here, Jolene. John, what kind of vehicle is that? Is that an SUV? Yeah, it looks like a little Mercedes SUV. Um, and that's, you know, really all that we can tell at this time. Uh, we when. They were coming on east or on Britain, right by the TV station. We were able to kind of see uh, the front and then the sides of it. The windows are tinted, so we couldn't tell how many people are actually in there. So uh, we're, we're not sure at that at this time. And so we just saw blow through a uh, traffic light. Got up, you said, to about 80 miles an hour. Yeah. Is that right? And, look, and going through another one right there. Yeah, uh, I guess we're being told there's one person inside here, Jolene. Yeah, 80 miles an hour here. Uh, now he's obviously in incoming traffic coming through. Uh, Hefner coming up on uh, 122nd here, still north on uh, Western. So north on Western coming up on 122nd right now. Yeah, he just, he just blew through 122nd. No, I'm sorry. He just went through 112th coming up on 122nd uh, next. And you can see, well, you'll be able to see here in a second. He's slowing down a little bit. Cars are pulling off on the side of the road. 122nd, the intersection is pretty busy. Uh, it's green lights for left, left and right or eastbound and westbound traffic here. Uh, so either, you know, he's going to have to dodge a car here. Or hopefully they can get out of his way uh, and he doesn't cause an accident. Now he's going to be east on 122nd from Western, Joe Lane, back towards uh, Broadway Extension. So he's going towards the Broadway extension, he or she, whoever is driving that. And we can't tell how many people are in that SUV. Is that right? Yeah, say that one more time, Jolene. We can't tell how many people are inside that vehicle. No, we, we've been told uh, that there's just one person inside there is what uh, Steve Johnson told us at the desk here. Oh, Air One is on scene. You can powerful. just see he just hit that power pole at, at Walnut and Walker. Walker. About 120 seconds. I'm sorry, Walker, Walker and 120 seconds, okay. Jolene. And it looks like they've got their guns drawn there. The driver can't get out. Yeah. Oh, someone's coming out of the back. There he goes. Yeah, he just, he, apparently there, there's at least one person in there. He just came out of the back. So officers surrounding that vehicle. One person, out, okay, looks like they're dragging him out right now. Officers with their guns drawn. Yeah, he this was is, on his phone. On his cell phone. Yeah, he, you know, obviously he came out of there with his hands up. Uh huh. And uh, then pulled the second hand down, and he was still talking on his cell phone here. So uh, they're they're about to get him into custody. Uh huh. Then they'll be able to see if there really is only one person in the car, Jolene. And it doesn't look like he is helping them out at all. Okay, he's out of the uh, vehicle no, now. He's not on the ground. Yep, and uh, you know one thing we're curious to see now is there going to be some power issues associated with knocking this uh, power pole down. Thankfully, it didn't come down uh, on the police officers there, but uh, obviously there's going to be a little bit of a cleanup here. Well, it's definitely not stable right now, and it looks like they are hitting the windows there to see if there's anyone there else inside the vehicle and what's going on in there as they have the suspect on the ground. Again, this is 122nd and Walker, where a chase just wrapped up after the driver of that SUV hit a power pole, uh, lost control while trying to make the turn there, and then crawls out of the passenger back window with his hands up. And John, you said he was on his cell phone. 
and then really didn't help officers out by climbing out, so they dragged him out. Do they have him in... Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, you okay. know, obviously, in, in an accident like this, you expect to see some damage, uh, you know, to the individual. Maybe he's injured. Uh, he just hit that telephone pole head mm -hmm. or that power pole head on, knocked it clean. Uh, and then gets out of the back, you know, so but still with the uh, cell obviously phone to probably his ear. wasn't wearing a seatbelt and, and it really kind of has no disregard for the uh, the police officers giving his commands come out of the car. He's still on a cell phone talking. So sure. uh, a crazy like they... situation here. Luckily, nobody was injured. And that's the good news here because he blew through several uh, intersections, running red lights, and they were you know, weaving in and out of traffic going about 80 miles per hour on city streets, and it looks like they've got him in handcuffs uh, at the back of one of those patrol cars there. Again, this is near Northwest 122nd and Walker, suspect now in custody, and they are placing him in the back of one of those police units. And we know they were looking inside of that SUV to see if there was anyone else inside, a passenger, or if that driver was by himself. It appears it was just the driver who is now in the back of one of those yeah, police kinda, units. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like, Jolene. Obviously, they've able to uh, break the front windscreen or the windshield out. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't appear there's anybody else uh, in the car. Good news here, nobody hurt. We're not sure about the driver, but obviously not hurt too badly as he climbed out of the back of that vehicle on his cell phone and now in custody in the back of the police unit there. And it didn't look like he hit any other vehicles. I don't know at what point you got in on this chase, but uh, from what we could see, it didn't look like there was anyone hurt. He didn't clip any vehicles while weaving in and out of traffic. And it looks like he is now. Yeah, Jolene, we, we didn't see. We picked him up, like I said, at about. And it looks like we are. At... John, how's traffic? right now yeah really it, it, it's flowing pretty decently it's funny you say that air one uh, i guess the police officer just asked them how traffic looked and uh it, it's actually going pretty decent here the uh westbound lanes are obviously closed down uh but as far as eastbound lanes there's still one lane the far north lane is still open you know and this is uh in the afternoon now so there are a lot of people out and about as we saw some of that traffic uh, the driver weaving in and out somehow did not clip or hit any other vehicles, especially while going through some of those um, red lights that he went through. And then trying to make this turn here near Northwest 122nd and Walker. But that suspect now in custody, I believe we have a crew on the ground. Lauren Fultenberg is uh, pretty close to the scene and will be, be able to speak with him uh, as soon as he gets there, John. But again, traffic uh, looks like, well, I see an ambulance on scene. What is that suspect in the police car or is he now in the back of the ambulance to be checked out? Looks like someone is. Uh, uh, well, I, I think he's still in the back of the police car, but I think they're probably going to they're going to check him out. We've heard and obviously this is not confirmed, but just radio traffic that this might be a potential homicide suspect. Uh, so that might be the reason for him eluding police and starting this chase here uh, obviously as you can see the ambulance just arose, uh, just uh, arrived on scene at this time I don't believe he's in the back there we still think he's in the back of uh, one of the here mentioned that they might shut down traffic here that they are going to shut down traffic uh, and it appears that they did at this time now they're just bringing everybody around through this neighborhood here on the south side of 122nd okay. uh, as they clean this investigation up. Detouring traffic there. John Welsh and Bob Moore, Chomper 4. Uh, at the end of a chase near Northwest 122nd and Walker, we do have a ground crew that is arriving there shortly and we'll have more information coming up at 4 o'clock. For now, we're going to send you back to programming.